Welcome back to another episode of From the Gallery, where we rate your cars that are, uh, you know what, they're in our gallery. But this is a very special, this isn't any normal From the Gallery, it's 350Z edition! Are you ready for this? I don't know. Do you like 350s? Well. That damn Loch Ness Monster owned me about tree fitty. What? Wheels, tire suspension, fitmentindustries.com. And if you haven't already, make sure to add your car to the gallery at fitmentindustries.com forward slash add. So that way we can rate it. And then if you want to get on our Google spreadsheet that we have of a list of a billion cars that we're getting through every day, shoot us an email at shop at fitmentindustries.com with the headline review my ride with a smiley face and then the poop emoji. What? That way they know. They don't know. They probably get all those and they're like, why are they putting in all these random things lately? And, <laughs> uh, I think it's funny. Anyways, let's hop right into this. Let's start rating these three tree fitties. You ready? All right. So the first one of the day, what we got is a 2004 Nissan Tree Fitty Z. Weird. How come they say Z? Why isn't it just Z? I don't know. I never right. understood that. Yeah. Well, can you look into that, get back to me, and then let all of us you know? Want me to Google it right all now. right. I, so okay. this sucker is rocking some ESR SR01s, 19 by 9.5 in the front plus 22, and then in the rear, 19 by 10.5 plus 22 got that staggered setup because them tree fitties sit pretty wide you know what i'm saying all right we got some nanking ns20s the front's 225 35 the rear is 235 35 okay and then we have a nismo 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 s tune lowering springs this is seven evan 337's 2004 <laughs> nissan tree fitty wow so Top right into this. He has, oh, some front wheel spacers, 20 millimeter, and then rear wheel spacers, 23 millimeters. Why don't you just get wider wheels? I don't know, dude. Maybe they didn't offer that offset. Yeah, probably. So he has a volant, volant intake, AIT wing, carbon fiber hood, Pioneer touchscreen head unit. What a flex. Aftermarket side skirts, front bumper, and mud guards. That's a lot. Mud guards. Do a lot of mud. All right, and then a custom three stage paint. HKS style dual cat back exhaust. Your car stage three? No, but my paint is. All righty, let's take a look at this thing. Woo, this is aggressive. Okay, this ain't your normal tree fitty. All right, time has been spent. I actually kind of like the front bumper. I like the sides here. It gives me very like 90s vibes. I know it's a 2004. Okay, early 2000s. I guess that makes more sense. Early 2000 vibes, period correct. He's got that big old wing on the back. Um, the wheels with the spacers, he pulled off some good fitment. However, like you said, I would like to see some maybe like a no, no. little bit wider, a little bit kind of dodge the spacers, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to yeah. do. Um, so he's got the rear spats with the side skirts and then the front bumper. It all looks really good. And then that super aggressive carbon fiber hood that looks like it kind of has some hood gap. And you'll have that on some carbon fiber parts. Um, overall, I think it's a solid build. It just screams 2000s to me. I like it, I like it. I like the orange, the little pumpkin, a little pumpkin tree video. You wanna look at it, Sean? Yeah. You didn't say anything the Give whole time. A... I don't know what to say. I couldn't see it. Do you like cars? Kinda. No, I think you kind of pretty much nailed it on the head with the 2000s vibe here. It's really... Oh, yeah. Fast and Furious got the. Whoa. Is that a carbon fiber hood? It, it seems like everything on here is pretty well been worked over. Side skirt, bumpers, hood, spoiler, paint, stage three paint, wheels, spacers. Are those? Are, is the Nismo, Nismo S2 lowering spring? Is that technically a factory thing, or is that just Nismo springs? I don't get it. I don't know. But it's on lowering springs. I don't mind the stance of it. I think it's decent. There's a bit of wheel gap there. Um, but if you're looking at more of a functional approach, I think it's solid. I was going to say, I wish it was a little lower, yeah. but I think with the. I want everything lower. 2000s aggressiveness of everything, it, it, it just kind of fits. You know what came here. with two, 2000s? What? Wheel gap. What? Wheel gap. Like my Mustang? Yeah. You know what other gap this has? Hood gap. Hood gap. Like I said your that. ST. I said that. Fords have a lot of gaps. I know, the, my SD has terrible hood gap. Does this get the Sean seal of approval or what? What would you do differently? Everything? I don't hate it. I just don't like it. Would you say it's overrated? <laughs> yes. All right, let's rate this thing. You ready to rate it? Yeah, I got an over mine. All right, let me think of a stage three number. Got it. Three, two, one, eight Six. and a half. Six? I don't... 
I'm not saying I'm in love with it, but it looks like it was like well done. Like it wasn't cheaply done or shitly done. Like it looks like it's pretty solid. I mean, who knows in person? Paint always looks different. I'm seeing a little bit of bumper gap too. Yeah. Out near the fenders, but I, I don't know. I'll give her an eight. It is what it is. It's I, a tree fitty. I gave them half a point for kind of the quality of everything. Otherwise, it'd be like a five and a half. Moving forward, we have a 2006 Nissan Tree 50Z on some Varstone ES2s. In the front, we have 18 by 9.5 plus 15. And in the rear, we have 18 by 10.5 plus 35, because you know we got them big Johns on these things always. And then for tires, we have Continental Conta Sport Contacts. In the front, 235, 40. In the rear, 285. Hell yeah, see? 35. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then it's on some Raceland coilovers. Hell yeah. So, well, we don't got an IG. So if you know whose this is, Tag them in the comments, cause we gotta know that. Alrighty, so we got no rubbing, no scrubbing. The fenders are rolled. Um, the trimming details is Cybon carbon fenders, which give plus 10 millimeters in the front, a hood and hatch, and then a Tomei exhaust, of course, Raceland coils, uh, version one Nismo bumper and rear diffuser. And Goku. Go Goku's on the side. So that's cool. I'm gonna let you Take a peek ski oh, at it geez. first. I'll let you do the honors. I guess first and foremost, I see a lot of, oh, that's my belly. I need carbon fiber on me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's interesting seeing all the carbon fiber on here. That stuff's usually really, really expensive. So it's interesting to see that they went a more affordable route with the wheels and suspension here. It looks really, really good though. Really, really, double really, really from really Sean, good. stamp of approval. And they say these were Nismo bumpers? Yeah. I really like that OEM plus kind of look. It's modified, but still could pass as stock. Ah, I, don't, I mean, with the a, carbon fenders and everything, in the a, carbon in a way hand, that and where like, the first one was like, oh, oh body okay. kit. It was very body kit aggressive. I agree. I agree. And I dig the Goku on the side. I know nothing about Dragon Ball Z, but it's you just, didn't watch Dragon Ball Z? No, I know nerd. F in the chat, bro. F in the chat. I Did you say you're not? Oh, listen. My, it's just it's a nice, tasteful little little bit on the side it's nothing crazy i dig it that's about all i got to, to hit you with Ooh. them kai blast give me it what are you looking at it's got the the uh, what do you call them Talk. on the back window uh the louvers louvers i freaking love louvers i don't know why i like them so much but i think it's awesome because you had a mustang. um i what it's because you had a mustang but i didn't have louvers on it mm -hmm. anyways yeah this thing very cool. Now, is that a factory color or is this like a red? I think red? it is. I think really? A that's color. a factory color? If it is, that's super freaking killer. I mean, it looks good regardless. Um, I like the carbon bits. I think those are nice accents. Ah, the headlights, I feel like you need some updated headlights on there. Let me check this out. He's got Brazzers tag on the back. Mm -hmm. uh, the Goku vinyl design. Very loud, very proud, and I think it's kind of cool. Uh, the louvers look really cool on there. I like the carbon fiber hatch. Super light, bro. Overall, the stance of this looks really nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's a solid tree fitty. It's like nice and tasteful. It, it is, it is. Barstones look good on there and they fit on there pretty good. A uh, nice affordable option if you're not looking for the TE37 price tag. So expensive. Yeah, they are insane, but I mean, TE37s yeah, are just... just the wheel. Anyways, I think I'm about ready to rate this bad boy. I got a number. Okay. Three, two, one, seven, seven and a half. half. Well, all right. What'd you say? Seven and a half. Oh, we're right on board yeah. with that one. Okay. So at least it wasn't a six like the last yeah. one. Yeah. Well. All right, moving on to the next car. We have another 2006 oh, Nissan oh, 350Z. Man. I'm gonna say it normal now. Weird. On some Gram Light 57 Extremes dope. Oh. Square setup. I wasn't expecting to see that today. Square 19 one. by 10 and a half plus 25. So that's aggressive in Square? the front. Yeah. Damn, Jackie. And then Canta, Continental, again, Conta Sport Contacts, uh, 285, 35 all around. BC Racing Coilovers. So, dude, that the fitment in the front looks super good. No really spacers big. in the rear. All right, so we got Tomei exhaust. As you can see, these are very similar cars. People uh, well, kind of do uh, the weird. one thing and go with it. We have a Visrus V3 bumper. Sorry if I butchered that. Carbon fiber duck bill. I do like me some ducks. Can you quack for me? Quack for me. Quack. For me. Thank you. You want right. me? So yeah, the duck bill looks super good on there. I don't know how I'm feeling about the clear tails. Uh, the Gram lights though. Mm, 19s. 
Not a bad choice on a tree fitty, to be honest with you. Kind of fills everything out. And then going with the square setup, like the fronts, it pulls off well, it clears those Brembos that are on there. And then um, I'm trying to see a good picture of the rear. The rears do look slightly sunk and the fronts are slightly poking, but for a square setup on a tree fitty, Impressive. I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. Um, I would like to see the wheels maybe like a bronzish color, I think would be kind of cool, but you are, I don't know, you got the murdered out setup with like the clear tails and stuff. Black on black on black on black. Yeah. Yeah, and then you got the chrome handles and the clear tail lights. But alrighty, I, I'll let you take a look since you're eager to talk about it and you're judging me. I'm not judging you, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. But he's 285 square, that's, that's aggressive. I really enjoy it is. that. It's like a nice functional. But do you see what I mean? The fronts kind of poke where the, the rears are kind of sunk, so that's a little odd. But yeah. it's not bad for a square setup on these cars. What do you think of the 19s versus 18s? I like the 19s. It's It looks really good. It's kind of interesting that everything else is really functional and then they still want I think the you 19s. look really good. Thanks, I think. The chrome taillights do throw me off a bit. Same with the, with that they left the door handle silver. Yeah, if that's... I'm not big. Although it's just a guy. clean overall setup. I mean, wheels, tire, suspension, <laughs> chrome taillights. Fitmasters.com, you know? oh, yeah. not chrome taillights though. BC racing coilovers, which ones are they? Probably yeah, BCs BRs. are like a great option too if you're looking to get uh, a decent set of coilovers that are at a fairly affordable price. Like it, they're not your cheapest set by any means, but like right around a thousand bucks usually. And they're super solid. They ride good. I've had good experiences with BCs. Me too. I have a number in my head. Alrighty. I got a, all right. Adding the 19 inch wheels, subtracting clear taillights has carbon fiber duct belt. All right. I got my number. Oh God. Okay. I got it. Three, two, one, six eight. Six and a half. You said seven and a half again? No, I said six and a half. Six and a half? You are a... Listen, I said it's clean. It's just... It's oh, just all right. Kinda... We got one more left, and hopefully Basic. this can break this threshold of sixes and sevens, but I guess we'll freaking see. So we have a 2007, oh, the newest of the snap. bunch, Nissan 350Z. Nismo, Nismo, oh. Nismo, 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 Snap. Nismo, Nismo. Varstone ES2s, 19s, again, by 10 and a half plus 12 square oh, setup. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I didn't realize that was such a popular thing. Hankook, Ventus, S1, Evo 2s, uh, 245, 35 all around. So not like the most aggressive setup on 10 and a halfs, but it'll get the job done. On stock suspension, what the hell? You guys slam this thing. Let's go. All right, this is Jello, Gello, Jello dot Z33 um, on the gram. We got no rubbing or scrubbing because he's on freaking stock suspension monster trucking. Um, I was hoping he'd have the details on it, but let's check it out. Wow. Okay. Got the Brembos looking good. The ES2s really do look good on this car. Um, the Nismo kit looks awesome. I would really recommend seeing this thing like coilovers. It needs coilovers Slammed. for sure. Oh it's God. hella moist. What? That's what the sticker says. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, overall, like that's not factory, right? This diffuser. I, I feel like it might be factory Nismo. Oh, Nismo. Really? Nism and then he's got an exhaust on there. If I had to guess, it would be Tomei, but he didn't say. So we'll <laughs> we'll just keep on going. Educated guess. Trombone. It gives me a tromboner. What? I don't know if you can say that. Can you say that on the internet? I don't, know, you can I don't think it. you can say that. All on right, the moving forward. Overall, thing looks really nice. And with these like Nismos, you really don't need to do a lot because they already look so aggressive. But it is monster trucking a little bit. I would like to see. Honestly, for stock suspension, it really doesn't look that bad. I think the 19s help fill out the wheel well a lot. Um, overall, I like the car. I'd like to see a little bit more done to it. It's just, this is like OEM plus, like exhaust, you get the wheels. Eh. Don't talk like that if, in front of me. If you're super cool, you could put on airlift suspension. I'm all about that air ride, baby. I really like this 350Z. It's a really functional look. I would like to see it like an inch lower, but for the most part- Or three inches lower. <sighs> You're gonna start losing function there. I think Dang the way it. this guy set this up with the with the tires that he chose and everything like that, it seems like a really functional. Maybe he uses it for some autocrossing or some track days or something like that. Would you drive it? I would drive it 100. 
These are too expensive for my blood. I like really, really cheap, just yeah. like real pieces of Junkers, shit. Junkers, yep. And this is this is too nice for me, but I do enjoy <laughs> them. It's right, you see them on the street and I freak out and this. Do you show me what you look like when you freak out. <laughs> and then I yell and then Mariah yells at me. Cause she like swerves off the road cause she thinks there's an accident and just, I'm just freaking out. You'll Not really that. feeling the antenna. That should get chopped off, get a shorty or something. <laughs> I love the car. I absolutely hate the antenna. It's it's a bad antenna. Look Dude, at this what thing. if he's really into that. radio frequencies? <laughs> Nobody uses FM or AM anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's Nobody. true. I just Bluetooth. Cut her off. Yeah, no, clean, I tasteful. I didn't even notice it. Wheels clean, tires, tasteful. There's not, like, wheels, not tires, that much done. Stickers. Yeah. And tasteful. exhaust. Tasteful. You can be tasteful and still do a lot of mods. Make it your own. You All right. You ready to rate best. this? I am ready to rate it. Three, two, one, Seven six. And a half. Man, you're strict at rating. You just rate everything the exact same, no, so no I, one can tell what you like or dislike. That is as good as the first one. I said six because I like it, but it's very stock. I want to see more done to it. But that about wraps this episode up. From the gallery, make sure to check out our Rotiform giveaway going on. And also, if you've ordered from Fit Ministries, you enjoy the YouTube videos, all that good stuff, please go give us a rating on Google or Facebook. Five-star review would mean the world. We appreciate you guys. Don't forget wheels, tires, suspension, fitministries.com. And if you need to, make sure to add your car to the gallery so we can go check it out and rate it poorly. Fitministries.com forward slash add. All right, there it is. If you liked us doing this like special edition where we review just one style of car, let us know. Let us know what branded model or whatever you want to see down below. Comment. I'm going to be going through and reading these. So we'll talk to you guys later. Mamelli. <laughs>